Good morning, welcome back to my channel. All right, so today I'm coming at you with no makeup as usual. Um, it's 10 in the morning. My friend Paul just came over to bring me his camera so I could film my apartment tour, which you will have already seen when you watch this. So today is a day off and I'm just standing here with my door open, snow on the ground. And today I'm going to film my apartment tour. I have to film a, another video and edit a video. So busy, busy day. And I want to, I need to clean my apartment a little bit and then I'm gonna do some meal prep. So we're gonna stop at the grocery store and just do some things and I have rehearsal later. So I'm just gonna take you along for a day off in the life. Um, I need to go to my sister's and pick up that bedding. So I'll bring you with me here. I'm wearing slippers. I actually am feeling like it's actually frigid out. So maybe I should put some different shoes on, like some actual shoes as opposed to slippers. <laughs> Anyways, so remember the other, in the vlog that I, posted the one that was like really all over the place um i in that video was in the car with my mom and my sister was supposed to have my bedding but then she didn't there's that whole thing um because it didn't get there yet so i'm going to pick up that bedding right now it's not just like snowy in my city right now it's actually cold like winter um this is the front of my car that's that's our level. It's really cold. It's really cold. Um, I'm going to drive to my sister's and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. I'm freezing. Okay, I got my package from my sister's and I thought that we could open it together and take a look. We're not gonna open it, open it, but I just wanted to see the other side of it. <gasps> there it is. Um, I think I'm gonna need to iron it, but I don't have an iron, so that might be an issue. But um, yeah, I'm super, super excited. It's from Urban Outfitters, and um, yeah, I've wanted this one for a really long time, so I'm super duper excited. And I'm looking forward to going home and setting it up. The other thing is, is my friend Paul came over this morning to uh, drop off his camera so I could, I think I told you guys this already. I can't remember. He came over this morning to drop off his camera so that I could film my apartment tour, but he also uh, helped me install Final Cut Pro. So I have a new editing software. Your girl is pooped. Um, so anyways, yeah, looking forward to today. It is 1030 in the morning. I'm intermittent fasting as well. So as you saw in my other video, I am starting a cleanse, etc. So I already started. I'm on day three. I'm going to go till December 1st and, um, it's October 29th, I think today. Anyways, so I'm intermittent fasting as well. So that's when you eat in a certain window and you fast, um, for a certain window. So my eating window is 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. So basically I eat all my calories for the day between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. And so it's 10.30, so I still can only drink like black coffee. You can't have any calories So um, while you're fasting. Anyways, I had two pimples this week, so uh, that's actually kind of abnormal for me. I have a really usually clear skin, which I'm very grateful for. Um, but yeah, my skin has been acting up a little bit. I'm on a new vitamin routine because I went to see my naturopath last week and I'm on a new vitamin routine, and one of them is, um, it's called Beautiful Skin, but it's actually for like hormone balance and stuff like that, but since I started taking it, I did break out a little bit, and um, I, yeah, I've just experienced some weird stuff, so I think it's like part of the process. We'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna head back home. It's about a 15 minute drive home, and I will see you there. Say hi. <laughs> You look so cute. Hi. He always gets right in there. He takes the glasses off. Look at these. These are so cute. Jets. That's my city's uh, hockey team. Oh, NHL. Is that Cadence? Oh. Yeah, that's Cadence. Oh, a swoosh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. That's so nice. Michaela. Cute. Army. I can't believe you were all here and I had no idea. I'm offended. Well, you know, you gotta stay in touch. Uh, I do. No one told me about this plan. Oh, Paw Patrol, is that Elias's? 
Uh, who did that one? I can't remember who did that one. Cute. I like Woody. That's yours, isn't it? Yeah. Both these are it. mine. I knew it. How do you know? Because you're the only person who would put that much work into a pumpkin and do it so well. My dad does everything with excellence. Yeah, I try. <laughs> Something after that's... all, look at this girl. Oh, thanks. Um, but I don't take after him. <laughs> I do things with um, 80%. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I do things 100%, but my 100% does not look as good as his 100%. Yeah, that's so good, Dad. Look at that. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of work. It looks really cool when you light her up, eh? Yeah, no kidding. I'll be here tomorrow, though. Oh, good. For pumpkin, oh, for Halloween. Oh, good. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh... Clean without me living here. <laughs> He's kept it really clean. Look how cute he is. Did a steak day. Did you do it? Yeah, I can tell. You're looking slim. Off to the gym today. All right. You're going to Good Life? I think so. First time? Yeah. That's so fun. Sorry, my dad wanted to talk to me about his gym membership, so I just stopped the video there. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, no, my dad just recently lost like 20 pounds, something like that, and he's looking super good, super snatched. Dad, which I talked about in my last video too, you guys are gonna be like, wow, you talk a lot about being snatched. Both my parents just lost some weight. Um, they're feeling good, and my dad's gonna start going to the same gym as me, which is so cute. So anyways, he started, uh, he's talking about how he's gonna go today for the first time to the gym. So amazing. My dad is 67 and he looks incredible and he works out and he eats really healthy and takes really good care of himself. Um, both my parents, they look like, in my opinion, amazing. Um, they are amazing. It's not all about looks, but you guys already know that I think they're amazing. Anyways, yeah, it's so funny because my dad is very detail oriented, does things super, super excellently. Um, very, very like an A type personality and I'm absolutely the opposite of that. So. I mean, it causes for some butting heads every once in a while, which you would not be upset with me saying that. Um, but for the most part, it's like, we've learned that each other are just different and opposite. And like, we understand that, but it's funny because my dad came over to hang some stuff uh, a little bit ago. And he was like, he's like, I was like, man, I'm not gonna lie. I love living by myself. He's like, not gonna lie. I love living without you. <laughs> he's like, the house is way cleaner. I'm like, dad, like I didn't even, I wasn't even messy whatever i'm not gonna win this battle but anyways now i'll actually see you at home in a bit i had decided to come to my parents to pick up an ironing board to iron the bedding because i took a better look at it and i think it would be really 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 wrinkly so we're gonna do that and i'll catch up with you in a sec So cute. Usually my lights are off, so that's more of what it would look like. I'm super happy with it. I might get a couple of throw pillows or something. Or I could try putting these behind, maybe. But my pillows in the front aren't as um, nice. So I think I'm gonna switch it for now, anyways. Anyways, super happy with my bedding, super excited about it. I am legit starving. I'm allowed to eat in 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna heat up my food. This is my meal prep food. I'll show it to you once it's heated up, because that looks disgusting. All right, team, here's my lunch. So this is a, I made this in my last vlog. It's the coconut lime um, with broccoli, roasted broccoli. And I've made myself a mocha. So I used whipping cream because on my cleanse I can have full fat, 
um, dairy with no sugar. So whipping cream, um, stevia and cocoa powder, organic cocoa powder. And my lunch is, yeah, broccoli and chicken. It's got onions and ginger and all kinds of good food in there. I'm going to work on some stuff on my laptop and eat some lunch. And then <clears throat> I just need to kind of clear off this whole area, sweep, do a little mop. Um, just quickly organize under here uh, for the video and then just straighten this area out. And I'm ready to film. Actually, no, then I need to get ready and then I'm going to film my tour video. Oh, my bedding looks so cute back there! Makeup's on, hair is done. I know, it's a significant difference. Um, ah! My place is now clean, it's 1.37, so this day is escaping me. This always, always, always happens on my days off. I feel like I'm very ambitious, but I'm also pretty aware of how long things take, and I know that they always take way longer than you think, so I always have all my plans, but I know that they're probably not gonna work out. Um, my apartment has never looked cleaner. I am about to film my apartment tour, yay! I'm so excited. So I will catch up with you guys in a little bit and I might film a little bit of behind the scenes here now. So it turns out filming an apartment tour by yourself is actually very difficult. <laughs> uh, usually, uh, last time I did this, my friend Paul helped me but he's busy today and I'm stubborn and I was like, uh, I'm just gonna do it by myself. <laughs> And I regret it a little bit, um, but that's okay. So it is 2.30, it is taking me a little while to do this. The camera's too hot now, so I'm just letting it cool down. Um, I had a change of heart. So I completely filmed the video once, and then I realized that that's not how I wanted to do it. Because I have a studio apartment, I decided I wanted to break it up per section of the apartment. So kind of have like a cool little like typing on the screen, like the, in the entryway and then have like b-roll shots and music and then me talking about the entryway and then like the bedroom and then have like b-roll shots of things in the bedroom and then me talking about the bedroom um and kind of do that with each section of the apartment so i started refilming which took more time and yeah now i am just waiting for the camera to cool down so i thought i'd come pop in and say hi to you um, and kind of fill you in on what's going on with my day today. I feel like I've not been the best vlogger ever, maybe. <laughs> but this is just how the day's going. So, uh, I need to check what time rehearsal is tonight, actually, because I have no idea. Maybe that'll help me feel better if it's a little bit later. I'm gonna double check. Okay, I'm done filming that video. And I feel like the worst vlogger ever because now I have to film another video. I'm not even gonna be with you again. <sighs> Tomorrow's October 31st which means that I need to film and edit my next part of my series, which is my Plan My Month With Me. And it's part of my series called Planning for the Disorganized Go-Getter because I am very disorganized, but I also am very driven and I also have a million ideas going on in this little brain ski of mine at one time. And I've had to find a way to become organized when I'm not naturally organized and plan so that I can achieve my goals. So I started a series literally based on that called Planning for the Disorganized Go-Getter. And my first video of the series was general goal setting for like long-term goals and short-term goals. And then my next video is actually monthly goal planning and just like how to plan my month, how I plan my month and how to plan your month kind of thing. And then my third video is gonna be weekly goal setting. So short-term. Today I have to film and edit that video. And those videos take a little bit longer. So I need to sit down and gather my thoughts regarding everything that I'm gonna say about it. And um, that's gonna take a little bit of time. And I'm actually hungry again. So there's that. I don't know where I put my glasses. Like I'm just like a bit of a mess right now. But I am relieved that my apartment tour video is filmed. It just doesn't feel like it's actually done with, you know? I don't know. You have to like make sure your house is so clean and do all this different stuff. And now it's just like, what, it's here, it's over? Where are my glasses? American glory faded before me. Did I put them in the drawer? Yep. There they are. There she is. All right. 
For lunch, I'm just cooking up some tilapia. So I'm gonna defrost it in the microwave and then pop it on the oven, on the oven, on the stove. And I just put Bragg soy seasoning on it and call it a day. So that's what I'm about to do. Actually, no, stop, 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 stop. Defrost, say five, start. Okay, that's gonna defrost. Also, side note, I've started this really ridiculous thing. <laughs> I'm on a cleanse, so I've always been like a beverage person in general, whether it's lattes or like Zevia or mocktails or a glass of wine or like whatever. I've always loved like I I grew up with my mom and both my sisters being Starbucks managers. And yeah, Starbucks was like in my family for a long time. That sounds really dumb, but it's true. So I've been taking two vitamin C packets a day. It's by the brand NRC and here and i've been drinking two packets a day while i've been fighting this cold and so yeah once a day i mix two of these bad boys and then a little glass pop in some ice and we pretend it's a cocktail and it's just really honestly i don't know it feels special i honestly like it it's just vitamin c but we're bougie all right, the fish is cooking. I will have some vegetables as well um, for dinner. This is kind of a snack. <laughs> I have to eat all my food within like um, eight hour time span and I'm gonna be at rehearsal, so. Oh, I never checked when my rehearsal time is. I need to do that. And uh, I'm gonna finish cooking this tilapia and planning my video and then I need to film it. All right, fish is just finishing up here. A little overexposed to the lighting, but that's okay. I have found since intermittent fasting the last couple days, I haven't been eating enough food, so that's what I'm working on. All right, now I'm just gonna finish up planning. So this is my video plan. This is how I set it up for my videos. So I talk about that a bit in my last video, but I go into Trello, pull up my notes, which I pre-plan at the beginning of the month and kind of look at what I'm going to talk about in my video and get anything ready that I need to. I'm very tired and honestly, I haven't done a single thing to relax today or for myself today. I've been working all day on my channel. So I think I want to spend the next two hours before rehearsal legit vegging, laying on the couch, eating, chilling. I have to leave my house in two hours and yeah, I think I deserve a little time off. So that's what I'm going to do. Jenna, if you're watching this video, I'm watching your video. This is my friend Jenna. I'm so proud of her. She put this video up three hours and she's 3000 views. She is an incredible YouTuber. She inspires me all the time. It's actually quite cold in here. So I've decided I'm gonna take a freaking daytime bath. Yeah, I am. Oh, she's doing it. So I'm gonna take a big daytime bath. I'm gonna pop this hair in a bun and uh, we're gonna do the thing cause I just wanna relax. Okay, I always like, now that my hair's a little bit longer, I'm like, oh, my hair would have been so cute short. When it was actually this short, it wasn't cute at all. So um, it also wasn't healthy, but still, I feel like it's finally growing. <laughs> it was so dead and so short and so scraggly for a long time. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a montage and I'll see you later. Lying in bed, I'm watching Zoella's Vlogmas from 2016 because I always watch Megan Grubb's channel and I'm way caught up on her videos. I've seen them all a majillion times. So I decided to watch what her favorite channel was to see if I'd like it. 
I think I'm getting to know her. I find when you watch people who vlog, it can take a bit to, like, understand their personality and, like, get super into them as a person. I don't know if you guys have ever found that. But then once you're, like, invested, you're invested. Excuse me. I'm majorly crashing because I fell asleep around 2.30 in the morning last night. And then I was up at 6.45 today. And I've spent the day basically at home but, like, hustling. And now that I'm relaxing, I'm, like, trying not to fall asleep. So I just thought, what better on a day off than to just take some time to actually chill. My bath was nice. Now I'm watching Zoella's Vlogmas. I'm going to take a 15-minute nap. And then I need to listen to my song, actually, for tonight. For rehearsal. Hmm. Actually, I want to show you guys. So, remember last year... If you don't remember, you could go back and, like, take a sneak peek at some of my videos from last winter. Um, actually, maybe this would be a good time to talk about it. Uh, so, this is kind of more serious, but... And I won't go into too much detail. Uh, but last winter, in November, I was going through... And December. I was going through a very hard time. Um... It was not boy-related or relationship-related or anything. Just somebody in my life um, caused a lot of hurt for me. Uh, not my family. Not my friends. Um, there's not a lot of detail there. But basically, I just went through a time of a lot of hurt. Um, and I was treated very poorly by somebody. And it was just a really hard time. I went through a really, really hard time. That was when I had originally started vlogging for the first time, actually, because I spent so much time at home because on my days off, um, cause I was just going through a really hard time. I just kind of hermited and I wanted to be at home and with my family. And, um, yeah, it was tough. It was dark days. I also had like this crazy food poisoning, uh, or type of food poisoning and it had lasted nine days and I got in a car accident and then all this stuff happened with this situation so yeah I look back last year and actually those videos are really fond memories of mine but they were amongst a lot of pain in the month of November and December was just kind of like me getting over it I guess um but last Christmas in general was still really really good and I don't know if you guys remember last year I, in my videos for December, I was like always in my Instagram and on my videos in this like green Christmas onesie all the time. I like lived in it because I spent like all my time at home and I would just like, I was like the going through a hard time in the way that like I would go to work and then I'd come home and I'd go to sleep. And then I like wake up for a couple hours and like just watch YouTube videos and then I'd go back to sleep. Um... I just was weak, I was tired, I was, yeah, it was really hard. And I don't say that to, like, have a pity party or make you be like, whoa, what happened? Blah, blah, blah. But just to say, like, it was a dark time. And I actually have a lot of fond memories in that dark time. But, yeah, when you watch back on my videos, I don't even know if you can really tell. But that's why I had started vlogging to begin with was because I was like, well, I'm home all the time and I don't have the mental creative energy to be doing sit-down videos and coming up with that kind of content. So I was like, maybe I'll try vlogging. And I actually really liked it. So last year I had this Christmas onesie. I'm going to show you. There it is. I was snatched. Wow. That's the Christmas onesie though. I loved it. I wore it every single day. And it made me very happy. This onesie yesterday. Do you want to see it? I think you do. One sec. I got this onesie yesterday from... I think it's pretty freaking cute. And, uh, you know, I got it in a large because there's nothing worse than a tight onesie, you know, for your, like, mm, my rolls. Um, so I went to Old Navy. I was like, I want festive onesies for my vlogs, for my mornings where I'm just chilling and I'm, like, wanting to be festive, you know? Obviously, it's the morning and it's a vlog, so I don't have makeup on at all. So all of that to show you and to say that, um... That was my onesie that I wore all the time. So I was looking yesterday on Old Navy for a new one for this year because I'm so excited and I want a new Christmas onesie for this year. So look with me and then tell me in the comment section which one you think I should get. There, I love this one. 
I think it's so fun. It's kind of like last year's. And it's like a candy cane. Uh, don't at me. I think it's so fun. So I kind of want that one. They also have this one, which I think actually might be the winner. I think that that's so cute. Plaid is cute too. Love the green plaid. But I think in terms of onesies, in terms of onesies, I think this one, like candy cane or this one. Okay, let me know below. And then for a pajama set, because I'm extra like that. If I got a set, I think I want... I saw it yesterday. I either want this one. Okay, it's pretty cute, right? But I think I love this one. Look how cute it is. Oh, I love it. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm thinking about lately. Lots of Christmas thoughts, okay? Sorry. Just is what it is. If you've seen any other Christmas um, onesies online, let me know below. Drop it down. L I don't know if I can actually film anything from today's rehearsal because we won't have performed by the time this video goes out. So it might be like a second, a little snippet, so you can't tell what it is. But I don't want to give anything away, you know? You know? Anyways, I'm exhausted. I should eat something, one more thing before I leave for rehearsal and I need to leave in like 20 minutes. This is really nice though. Even though I've only had a couple hours to relax, I feel like this is nice and relaxing. I do feel like we're shifting into winter though, which is really bizarre. Like it's six and it's dark out. So that's very strange. I do need to add that um, the song that we are rehearsing tonight is a Christmas song. Eee! I know, I know, Caitlin. It's not even November. I mean, once I post this, it will be November, but like, I start celebrating Christmas on November the 12th, the day after Remembrance Day, which is in like two weeks today or something like that. So you better believe we're thinking about Christmas. I'm so excited. All right, team. I tried to use my command start to start my car because I'm a baby and want my car to be heated up and it didn't work, which if that is a sign of what this winter is going to be like for me, I'm not too excited. It's super weird that it's six o'clock, oh, it's 6.30 and it's like dark out. It's very strange. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. So I'm gonna make Santa's secret uh, cause I'm feeling hella Christmassy right now. So, oh, so good. This is Santa's secret by David's Tea. It's a black tea with peppermint and vanilla. Oh, it's amazing. Little candy cane bits in there. And I'm gonna make it with xylitol, which is like I told you about in my last vlog. I think it was my last vlog. Um, about xylitol so I can have it on my cleanse. It is a natural sweetener. It's made from tree bark, which I know sounds bizarre, but it's totally healthy. It's not weird. And sorry, I keep propping you guys like that. Um, I'm just gonna put my tea in a little tea bag. My kettle's getting kind of loud. These are disposable tea bags from David's Tea. I used to be a manager for David's Tea. I worked there for three or four years. I can't remember how many years. I think it was four. And I'm gonna take a big heaping tablespoon of xylitol, maybe even a little bit more. Um, yeah. Once my water is boiled, I'm gonna pour it in here and let it steep until I leave and then top it up with a little bit of cream. And it is so delicious. I'm super excited to have that for the rest of the evening. See my computer charger. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, jingle bells, jingle bells. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's a bit of... All right, so I need to take. Oh, hiccups. I need to take to the car. My laptop, Paul's camera, the iron, the ironing board. Lots to take to the car. Um, what shoes am I gonna wear? I'm gonna wear my boots, just my black boots. I need new shoes desperately. I'm also a shoe snob now of my job i'm like these aren't comfortable runners these are my uncomfortable runners the worst <laughs> okay my water these mugs keep it hot for like eight years so i don't love that lots of people appreciate that i don't i like to drink my tea thank you very much 
Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, jingle, jingle bells. And when hers opens, I hey. All right. I'm trying to dissolve the xylitol. That's why I'm stirring. It's really hot, though. Can you see the steam? It's so hot. Okay, and then I'm going to add some cream. This is whipping cream, so I don't want to be too aggressive with it. Oh, yep, that was definitely too much. That was definitely way too much. Good, great. Glad that I did that. <laughs> Put that away, grab some water to top it up. So if you ever have a mug that keeps your drinks too hot, just add a little cold water, get it to the temperature you actually want to drink it at because if your mug keeps it at the temperature that you start with, just start with the temperature you can drink. <laughs> Trick for ya. Got a little trick for you. So I have like 8 billion of that mug that I'm using right now in different colors. But the problem is I only have one lid, which is really stupid. So I think that lid is in my car on another mug. Okay, I'm going to see you guys in a little bit because I'm running around. early so I'll take you for a little tour I might get shy to vlog in front of people <laughs> Jingle bell, 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 jingle b
um, volunteering with the team that I volunteer with. So yeah, that's everything for that. That's everything for my vlog today, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure you uh, like this video if you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Put that bell notification on. And if you do watch the video and post it on your Instagram story, don't forget to tag me and let me know what you want to see next. And I will make sure to make a video for you. So I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day whenever you are watching this. And I love you so much. Bye.